All right, so uh, we have uh, our players from the Lower Rhine. Coach, uh, just give me a quick opening statement on the game and, and the tournament. Uh, Anderson's a really good team. They came out and scored 26 points right from the jump. Uh, their their three-headed monster, Lexi, Ace, and Madison, played 38 minutes and God, they did everything that we, we expected them to do. They're just, they, they never stop. I kept thinking like at some point, like they're gonna miss a shot. Like this is gonna happen. This, like, and they don't, they never slow down. And so props to, to the, those three for leading their team and their role players just buying in. And JB's doing an outstanding job, won 26 in a row. And I mean, he's representing our conference now, hopefully in the NCAA tournament at, uh, and I want him to go as far as they can because he's doing an outstanding job over there. And I think they, they work hard and they deserve everything that they've gotten. And so props to them. Uh, I think we came out and we struggled a little bit early giving them second chance opportunities. And when you're, when I just talked about the team, I talked about you can't give them second chance opportunities. And so I hate that we did that because I felt like one thing we've kind of done all year is really held teams to one, one possession and, and done. And so I hate that we gave those second chances to them because they executed when we did. I'm not sure what the second chance points was, but uh, – uh, 15 offensive rebounds to them probably is the biggest thing that stuck out to me. But happy for our seniors, the year they've had. I mean, they got us here to Furman, and these two right here got all conference awards this year. And uh, I told them if we got to fourth place, they both would get in, and they both did that. So uh, just just proud of, of their effort. Um, just kind of talk through the first half when they just really kind of jump on you guys. Um, I know you mentioned the second chance opportunities, but was there anything else that stuck out to you? Because um, I think you guys just didn't double in the second half. Yeah, yeah, we did. Uh, I threw a marker at halftime. I told him I should have done that at the beginning of the game. But uh, no, I think this is everyone on our roster. This is our first time playing at Furman. And I think that was obvious through the jitters, through the level of probably intensity we had. And uh, But I think they turned that around after they got settled and kind of ready to, to come back out and play in the second half. I think they, they realized like, oh, this is what it takes. And so I think I hate it was these these two, and this is their last time because I think they could they could really make some strides if we had them for another two years up here at Furman. But uh, I think we just kind of needed to settle in that first half. Um, and then the next one for both Maddie and uh, Kendall, just about just kind of settling in and getting those jitters out. But then you guys both seem to get more comfortable as the game goes on. Um, kind of talk about the progression of the game. Um, yeah, I think we definitely all just we all got our minds right after halftime. Uh, it's first time here for a lot of us, me, seniors, it's crazy. Uh, and for the freshmen, I think it's good look, going forward because this isn't going to be the next year and the next year and the next year after that. It's not going to be their first years here. So I think it was just a, kind of a shell shock for all of us, you know, seeing the purple in the background and uh, just getting used to things and uh, realizing what it takes to really play here. And I think we finally realized that towards the end when the second half. So I think in the first half, because we had so many jitters, we kind of lacked energy. And so then by the time we realized, like, it's fine, it's just a basketball game, it's already, the hole was already too, like, too deep for us to come out of, but really proud of our fight. Yeah. Um, and then for Coach uh, Madeline and Kennedy really kind of excelled. What does that say about them both being underclassmen um, excelling on a stage like this? Well, they've had two really good people to watch and mimic in game and the two people sitting on each side of me. And so uh, I think Madeline and Kennedy are both going to be people that we ask to lead us in the future. So, yeah, it's I think the – the future is bright for them, and they they fight like they fight like one thing we're gonna miss with these two is they compete and they fight when there's a score on the board they're competing and they're fighting, and I think those two very much so follow in follow in line with that, and so I'm excited about those two returning and appreciate the fact that they had these two to watch and and learn from in that. Yeah, um, Eastern and Mollenhauer in particular is one of the most issues. What kind of uh, problems with their size is being on the perimeter and being as big as they are? You want to answer you know, it? It's a problem. <laughs> uh, uh, no, they're just they're two great players. They they work hard for what they do. They love the game, um, and so I think I think a lot of the success that they've had, they they've earned that. Um, their height is just something that goes along with it, and their their build, and it just it helps. They're a great, phenomenal basketball team, and I hope they go far and represent the SAC well coming up. I mean, I just kept shaking my head at times because Lexi is, I mean, you heard all the statistical categories she leads the NCAA or conference in. And I mean, she hits a step back through the legs, pull up, and I'm like, you can't, I mean, she's, she's almost six foot. You can't do it. Like, at our, at our league, that's really hard to guard. And, but she gets up, I hear, early in the morning and works on it day in and day out. So, I mean, props to her, but we're going to have to figure out something to do with her next year. Yeah, yeah. Um, question for Cam and I'll just kind of open up to you guys as well. Um, I know it's tough to reflect right now, but just talk about the season, the senior class.
class, I and mean, you guys advanced in the final four for the first time since 2014. Yep, 17 wins. Um, I think it was definitely over probably what we thought was going to happen this year, but I'm glad we got to 17 because I actually predicted at the beginning of the year, and I predicted us to be 17 and 12. And so we're 17 and 13. So we got that win total. Go out on a over 500 in the sack, get to fourth place, host a regional game. I think we got people back at Shuford pretty excited about the type, we're, the, the pace we're going to play at. Um, uh, definitely going to miss the senior class, five of them. I just told them in the locker room it's going to be hard thinking about going um, to postseason workouts and not having them there. Uh, Um, it's it's really kind of crazy to think about at this point because I mean I'm still wearing the jersey you know it still still hasn't hit me yet but basketball is our life you know, that's what we do day in and day out we get up we go to the gym we sleep eat do it again um, and so it's it's just it's gonna be crazy I'm gonna miss it so much and the, my teammates are amazing and I think what we have going on here is is really something special and so I'm looking forward to coming back and still watching being in the stands but I'm gonna miss it for sure. Yeah, I think it's really hard to reflect right now because it's just it's so surreal right now. But I think this year has really like laid a foundation for the girls coming up. Mm -hmm. I'm really glad that we could end it here. Yep. Yeah. Thank you guys. All right, Thank thanks, you. Max. Yeah. Appreciate your.